Hello everyone, Marie here from Planet Marie. And we are here tonight with part three of our eight pound haul from Goodwill. Um, there is a little bag inside the bag. And I'm debating whether to do this tonight or this part. Um, I'm really excited about this because I see some rings in here that I think could be something. Um, so, yeah, let's open this up. I'm going to open this up, and we can always do a little bit of both, too. I really want to see these rings um, and some other things. So, yeah, we'll take it. Um, we'll play it by ear. All right, I'm just going to... Get the scissors for this. Snip this baby open. Mm -mm -mm. Exciting. This has been a really great bag so far. Um, I have to say definitely one of the best, if not the best, because I pulled precious metal more than one piece. I got that butterfly that's like a gold-plated sterling and um, those finger guards. Um, what else? We got turquoise. We had the um, turquoise strand of stones and we also had the turquoise little necklace, cord necklace with um, the sterling extender on it so there's been quite a few nice pieces and now we have this and i'm wow there's a lot of rings in here oh my i would imagine it's costume but you never know there could be some sterling in here wowdy wow this is pretty i think we'll do like a little of each you know let's do some of this and some of that some of necklaces from the other bag. Yeah, this looks like a lot of rings and earrings. Um, yeah, looks like rings and earrings. All right, all right. Let's uh, let's just check out a couple of these rings first, okay? You never know. They could have let something slip past. This one definitely does not feel like anything other than costume. It has a purple stone in it, and it is silver tone. I know it looks brown, but it's more of a plum in person. Let me just pull it away for a second and check. I don't see a brand or anything in it. Um, let's see what size. It's a nice big one. It's about a 10, size 10. So if anybody's interested, uh, $3, silver tone ring. Let's do another couple of rings, then we'll move on, all right? Let's check this one, pretty purple stone. This one feels nice. I don't see a marking in this one either. Um, so we'll say three dollars for this too, and I will test them. Let me. I'm gonna grab my magnet too. Let's see. All right. It's not sticking at all, so I will test it. But that doesn't mean it's sterling just because it's not sticking. That's just one of the clues that helps put the puzzle together on these mystery pieces. Oh, that's pretty. That could be jade or something. Who knows with this lot. It's been beautiful. This looks vintage. This earring. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll be getting my Presidian that is due to show up tomorrow, Friday. And I've been watching some videos on how to calibrate it and use it. This is very pretty, like a peridot in it. Let me just check it. We'll do all of these um, costume rings for three bucks each. Very pretty. 
Very pretty. This will fit my chunky hand. Look how pretty that is. All right, these are very nice. Just costume, but they're pretty. All right, uh, let me keep moving on here. Um, this looks like a whistle. That is weird, but it's a um, it's a pendant. It has a bell on it, but it's a whistle. I don't want to put, you know, I don't want to put my mouth on it. <laughs> I'm not gonna try it out, but it's heavy. It's weighty, and it has a stamp on it. Let me see what it says there. Avon. Huh. Well, how do you like that? It's Avon. I think this could be sterling. I'm going to clean it up. Uh, it's slightly magnetic. I don't know. We'll do the Avon pendant for $5. I have chains. If anybody wants, I can put it on a stainless steel silver chain for you. I'm going to clean this up. I have a hunch it's going to clean up, shine up real nice. But it's a little whistle pendant. It's cute. Avon. It's more bronzy, I think. It's more bronzy. So, all right, there's that. There's a button. I don't know. Buttons. There's another costume ring. Most of these is going to be earrings, guys. So I think I'm just going to put this aside. This one. These are really pretty. I think these are vintage. Let's do these. I'm going to look at these. And then we're going to put this aside and get to the juicier stuff. Because I think this is just here. And I mean, I love earrings, but... Um, you know, I want to get to the juicier stuff. These are very nice. Let's do these for $5. I have no idea what they are. I just know they're really pretty. Both of the beads are, all the beads are there. Very pretty green and brass tone. Gorgeous. Let me see if there's a name on them. I don't know that they're vintage. They just like remind me of vintage probably not probably just that style um five bucks for these let's give them a number i'm going to give these a number this will be the first item second item with a number let's do avon whistle as number one i think i said five dollars all right and we'll do these earrings as number two they're really pretty. Really, really pretty. Oh my goodness. Um, tape measure. Let's see here. They're about an inch and a half. Okay, really nice. And we're gonna do these for five bucks because they're gorgeous. Item number two, and this is going to be part three. You just have to tell me the video. It's going to be eight pound Goodwill haul part three, and then you only have to give me the number. You don't even have to quote the price because I already have it on the bag when I go to pull it, um, but you can. You can uh, reiterate the price if you'd like. I'll be doing my invoicing um, tomorrow. So people with outstanding orders, those who have, uh, you know, spoken to me on the side for a certain date, uh, still stands. Anytime you need extra time or you want to pay on a certain date, no problem. Just let me know. Otherwise, I'll be invoicing on Friday. Remember the Y necklace we pulled? These are matching earrings. So if anybody purchases the black Y necklace from, I think it was part two. I'll put these in for free, okay? They're matching earrings. Just let me know if you want the necklace. All right, next up. All right, next up, I'm going to um, pull in the large bag, you guys, and let's see what we're working with here, okay? And, you know, we'll, I'll go through this on the side, and anything that stands out to me, I will bring in. We'll go over the earrings, but... I would probably do that in another video just to do it like a little more quickly. I'll look over them and see if any of them have brand names. This way you don't have to sit through a video 
um, of me pulling all of these earrings one by one. This one is stamped. Um, so that's what I'll do. I'll go through them and then I'll, we'll do a, a, a nice, um, succinct video, um, covering the rings and the earrings. And I'll let you know if any of them are brand names and how much they're going for. All right. We're going to put that aside and we're going to pull in, um, the rest of this. All right. Let's see. Got a nice big silver silver and gunmetal tone with uh, like a large seed bead necklace and we have a brand there it looks like EL Erica Lyons I believe that is let's see here very nice we'll do the Erica Lyons for eight dollars really nice super clean Beautiful. Lobster clasp. Okay, $8 for the Erica Lions. All right, let's give this a number. This will be piece number three. Nice chunky. It's lightweight though. I feel like the beads are hollow because it's lightweight. It's not real heavy. Okay. All right, it's going to be piece number three. Eight dollars. Alrighty, and let's move on to the necklace here. We have like a um, like a peach and like a uh, sagey kind of moss green gold tone and peach bead. Um, they feel plastic. They're plastic and metal. And I think there is a brand on here. And it looks like a two tier. Or something. I feel like it's caught up on itself here. There we go. Is it broken? I feel like it may be bro Oh, I think it just has to be reattached. Yeah. It looks like just this one came off of here. See how that one's just on there with its own little hook, with its own little loop? This one just has to be attached, which I can easily do with my jewelry pliers. I will just reattach it, and it looks like a two-tier. Okay, it's going to lay like that. I'm just going to reattach that one little loop. That's all it needs. Look how pretty. Very pretty in the light. Let me get this other stuff out of the way. All right, let's see the brand. There is a brand name on this. I just have to reattach that piece. We'll do this for $8 also. It is Bisu Bisu. I know they have clothing. I didn't know they had jewelry, but anyway, be Sue, be Sue. And this is piece number of the, I think four. Okay. If you're enjoying this video, please put a like on it for me. I'd really appreciate that. I mean, if you're just hanging out, just hit that like button. Helps me come up in the algorithm when people are searching for jewelry content. All right. Piece number four. $8. I haven't given you measurements, I noticed. Um, 
just let me know uh, if you are interested in knowing the measurement on the last two necklaces we did. I just, I forgot. No other reason than I just forgot. So if you're interested in purchasing them and you want to know the length, just send me an email and I'll confirm it up for you on whatever the length. So I'll check the lengths for you. This is very pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at this stuff. Wow. Pretty. Feels mm, probably plastic. So sparkly. There is a brand on this. It is Spring Street. Let me see. Spring Street. Um, very pretty gold tone with these pretty with this pretty little um cluster of pendants beaded wow this is really pretty look at this i don't know if it'll pop more on the black or the white i think i think the black let's see yeah wow wowie kazowie very pretty gold tone blue beads I believe they're plastic. It all feels plastic, but super duper pretty. You have your three pendants, your little cluster of pendants in an abalone look. It's not really abalone. It's like laminate. Very, very pretty. Beautiful shape. It looks to be in beautiful condition. I will measure this for you. It's long. So, um, you'll be able to double this. I think it would look really nice. Doubled. I think this will be double a bowl. <laughs> um, yeah. Wow. We're going to do this one for $12. Okay. Let me give you a measurement. And we'll give it a number. Beautiful. Beautiful. I really could not be happier with this lot. All right. It has a 15-inch drop, and then you've got another 3 inches in the extension. So 15 to 18-inch drop. You should be able to get two tiers out of that. All right. Twelve dollars for item number five. Twelve dollars. Really pretty. Mm. This one got the pretty tax added on. All right. Let me just put this in the bag. And we will move on. Oh, all right. Let's see what else we have here. Bring some more in. And, you know, in the earrings, too, I might find matches to other pieces that I pulled. Um, and I'll just throw them in. Anybody who's buying a necklace, if I find matching earrings. We're going to go through the earrings, too. Like, I'll do that in another video. And, um, you know, if there's any that match any of the necklaces that sold, I will put the earrings in for free. We have a Talbot's here. Gold tone. Looks a little dingy on the chain, gotta say. Looks a little dingy. It might clean up nicely. I don't know. Pretty beads. Interesting. Gold tone, marble blue uh, kind of a cloudy this can be worn to like without that if a clasp is just put on here it can be worn just as a necklace like this I don't know because it's very pretty on the beads but I don't know about the chain I'm 
I'm probably going to put this in crafting only because of the chain. If somebody wants it, you can have it for a dollar. If you purchase other stuff, I don't want to ship just this, but if you buy other things and you want this, you can have it for a dollar just because of the chain. The chain is, is kind of grungy. Um, and that's the reason why, but somebody may want to just remove the chain. It has a nice big, has nice big loops on the end. You can just add a lobster clasp, um, right to the one loop and just clasp it onto this other jump ring right there, right there. You don't even need to add a jump ring. Just put the lobster clasp. If anybody wants to mess with it and you got a really pretty, um, beaded necklace. All right. So otherwise I'll put that in craft. Just let me know. Um, let's give it, uh, we'll call it 5A. All right, call it 5A. I don't know, I'm gonna put it in this bag in case somebody wants it, because I think the beads are pretty. I'm just gonna give it 5A. That'll be the number. And if no one wants it, I'll put it into crafting. But if you want it, $1 and I'll throw it in with your order, okay? Next up, we have what looks like some cloisonne. Wow. Pretty, pretty stuff. Hard, like a glass or hard type of stone or faux stone of some sort. And I think I sh maybe should test this guy too because that looks like it could be lapis, lapis, lazuli. I don't know how to pronounce it. But I saw another piece in this lot that looked to me like it could be that. So, um, and I'm not sure if the gem tester tests like the natural stones or if it's only like rubies, emeralds, diamonds, and that kind of thing. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I'm put this one aside. Let me research it first, you guys. I want to see what this might be and what these are. And um, just get an idea of these closing eight beads. And then I will get back to you. It'll be in the following video. If you're interested in it, as always, just email me and be like, yeah, I, I like that one, Marie. When you figure it out, uh, let me know. First come, first serve. So just shoot me an email. We have a silver tone statement necklace, green, uh, blue, green, or tealish um, plastic. I think plastic stones. They, they're pretty hard. I don't know. Probably plastic stones, like a heavy plastic. Silver tone. Nice shape, nice and clean. We'll do this necklace for $4, unbranded. And we have an eight inch drop and two inches on the extension. Piece number six. What'd I say? four dollars I think pretty the chain is nice too it has a little bit of different um, shapes and size in there you have the rings then kind of the twisted ovals it's nice perfect shape all right sorry about my nails they look terrible I know you guys I just want to get these videos out and get this lot out up to, uh, so you guys can see it but hopefully i will get to do my nails this weekend here is we have earrings to this they came up in the first or second lot um so if anybody wants this necklace again i will just put the earrings with it i don't think this is anything of the precious kind it's gl nice glass stones very pretty like that artisan um glass twist Twisted pattern inside there. Silver tone. No brand. Has a little pendant. I think this might have been added. I don't know. Oh, no. It matches. Well, that's pretty. Let's put it on. Very pretty. Glass beads. Let's do this for $6. And um, anybody who wants this, I have the matching earrings. They're the shape of this bead. I'll put them in for free. I will add with earrings, if anybody wants this, $6, $6, piece number seven, piece number seven. Here they are. I just wanted to go grab them. I grabbed the earrings. 
Put them right in here with it. How do you guys feel about earrings? Are you interested in earrings? Is it something you wear a lot? Is it something you buy a lot? Something you're interested in seeing? Or are you more into the other stuff? All right. Let me know. Comment below. And let me know your input on that. I'm interested to know. Here's a gold tone necklace. It has a brand. Well, it has a little teeny ta tag. A little... little crystal on it but I don't know the brand so if anybody knows let me know it's gold tone light very lightweight um, gold beads and chain two tier You get the picture. Kind of reminds me of globes. It's cute. Pretty. Very pretty. Lightweight. Some kind of brand, but but it doesn't um, have a name or a letter on it or anything. We'll do this for $4.00. That's a nine inch drop and a two inch extent, about three inch actually. Here, hang on, wait, 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 wait. Eight inch drop and a three inch on the extension. Okay, and I clean these things up like I always tell you guys before I send them. I always put a nice polish on everything and get any surface dirt or oils off of this stuff. So um, anything you see is always gonna be cleaner than how it looks. Piece number eight, four bucks. All right. Next up, we have a pretty, like a choker length necklace. Hmm. Is it? Or a bracelet. Oh, we have a bracelet. Uh, or, hmm, this looks like a part of a necklace. No, I guess it's a bracelet that's pretty all right let's put this baby together and put it on our sizer gold tone with three tiers of beads very pretty um, these feel like stone the others feel like plastic yeah has an extension on it but I put it on the shortest so let's see what size it will be wait this can't be a bracelet this can't this can't be because look how small that would be how can this be what am I missing you guys what am I missing this has got to be part of it can't be a bracelet because then your inner layer, your inner strand is too short because they're graduated layers. This would be the size. That can't be. All right. I don't know what this is. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. It's very pretty. I think it might attach to something, but it... it it's a piece of an in and of itself because it closes, but this can't fit on a wrist. The inner, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe a new jeweler, like somebody starting out um, jewelry making, made a pretty three tier bracelet, but didn't realize that if they made the tiers graduated, that smallest one would be too short to fit on a wrist. The outer one would fit, but that inner tear, I don't know. I don't, don't know what it, it's probably something really obvious that I'm not thinking of and I look stupid. I don't know. Let me know if you guys know what this is. That's crazy. All right, I'm just gonna put it aside. All right, next up, 
This feels magnetic to itself. Um, very pretty beads. We have like a twist going on. Looks like some artisan glass beads in there. And it's magnetic. Oh, 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 okay, so it, it's attached. Oh, oh, what the heck? All right, it's one of these necklaces that you can do however you like because it's ma it magnetizes to itself. So you can do whatever you want to do with it. Okay. That's cool. Magnetic. Magnetic necklace. It feels like glass beads. It's really pretty. And I like these artisan beads in there. Let's do this for 10. I like this. All right, this is going to be piece number eight. Piece number eight. $10. Super cool. That is cool. I mean, I guess you could do it as a bracelet, too, if you wanted to. That is cool. I could have some fun with that. All right. Next up. Let's pull in some more. Oh, this is pretty. Very pretty silver tone with pearls. Several tiers. One, two, three layer. Very pretty. Nice snake chain. Snake chains with like a grayish pearl, slightly grayish pearls. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. I don't see a brand on this. Um, but that is pretty. Let's do five dollars for this. Super duper pretty. Super duper pretty. Oh, great, great pieces. I know I keep saying it, but I mean, I've gotten lots where I was really struggling to pull something decent out of it. I mean, usually I do pretty good because I do the auctions usually. Um, and not, I stay away from the blue boxes. The blue box that they have on Friday because, I don't know. I don't like to go sight unseen like that where you have no idea. This is piece number nine. We're doing this beautiful necklace for $5. Graduated lengths, three tier. I didn't measure it, I know. All right, uh, we have a beaded bracelet here. Let's make sure we don't have any, um, I don't know. So the clasp is magnetic, but the beads are not. This does look like genuine Turk. We have a seven inch bracelet, no um, extension. I don't know if it's genuine or, oh no, no it's not. Look at, oh it has like a Buddha face. We'll do three bucks on the Buddha beaded neck uh, bracelet. Okay, size seven, three dollars. Piece number 10, Buddha bracelet, cool. All right, oops, sorry, sorry. Okay. All right, next up we have another bracelet, little heart charms, kind of um, uh, gold tone and silver tone, little hammered hearts. Cute, it does appear to have a brand. Let me uh, take it out of frame and check it with the loop. D-E-M 
D-A-C-O, Demdaco. Hmm. Let me see. New to me. Demdaco. It's cute. Just a little, um, you have your two stoppers here. Oh, sorry, I'm not afraid. You have the two stoppers here and then your little hearts. Um, in between it's pretty it's in really clean shape we'll do two dollars for this bracelet very pretty and super super shiny and clean this is piece number 11 and we'll do two dollars for that oh let me measure it On the smallest, it's six and a quarter. And then you've got another, I would say about two inches there. So six and a quarter to about eight inches or so. All right. Next up, pretty, pretty. We have a blue and kind of topazy color beaded necklace here nice and long I'm um, not seeing a clasp or am I looking? oh here we are we have a lobster clasp closure definitely can be doubled up Gold tone rings, plastic beads. Six dollars. Let me get a measurement. All right, we got a twenty inch drop. Looks like maybe a little bit of wear on that bead. Otherwise, looks great. Maybe just some little scuffies on a couple of these beads. Alrighty, let's give this a number. This will be number 12, I believe. And we'll do this for six dollars. Twenty inch, twenty inches of pretty beads and gold tone rings. All right. And this is part three, you guys. Okay. Part three. All right. We have acorns on a brass tone. I don't see a brand. I do see a little, looks like a bright and fake or something vintage because it has this hook. It's brassy, dingy. Um, but kind of cool if you like that corns. Kind of cool it's actually kind of cool let's do this for four dollars get your measurement um so it would be just one length there's not an extension on it okay i'm guessing it's going to sit somewhere just below collar bone area yeah you got an eight inch drop what did I say for this? Four bucks, I think I said. That's cool. It's kind of cool. Acorns. Four dollars to get some acorns. Number 13. Number 13. Four dollars. Let me know where you guys are from also. Let me know what state you're in. 
Interesting. And thanks to everybody who stops and says hello. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. It really does. Um, we have earrings to this, too. I'll be right back. I remember pulling these, too, the, a couple days ago. All right. Um, yeah, I, I had put these aside. We were going to go over the earrings at another time. And we still will do that with the ones that aren't in sets. But any like this, I'll just put with the necklaces. So we have this blue, like a deep blue with a lighter blue border, like a statement necklace. Let's put it on. It's a gold tone. I don't see a brand. Um, it's in really nice shape. Super duper clean. I think it's plastic. I don't know. I think it's plastic. Faceted. Get a little sparkle in there. Um, gold tone. I don't see a brand. But super clean. Let me give you the measurements on it. Okay, so at its shortest, it has an 8-inch drop. If we took it from the shortest, let me just double check that. Uh, actually, yeah, about an 8-inch drop. And then you've got another about 4 inches of extension. So you have an 8-inch drop to 12-inch to drop. Piece number... 14, I believe. Number 14. And we'll do this for six bucks. Beautiful. Nice shape. And it goes with the earring. I'll put the earrings in for free. Okay. Why don't you get the earrings with it? Six dollars. All right. Uh, let's see. We've got some oh, little bar necklace. That's pretty. Gold tone. Delicate gold tone chain with like a faux bar of um, turquoise. Let's put this on. Very long, so um, you can wear it like this. Or you can um, double it and get two tiers out of it. Very pretty. We'll do $8. Very pretty. Chain is super clean, shiny, sparkly. Great shape. Probably a piece of dyed halite, I would imagine. It's pretty. This would be good with even more, like, layered with it. Um, got some turquoise earrings. I like to match stuff up. Also, you guys, I want to know, are you, do you like to see sets? Because oftentimes I can make sets a coordinate. Sometimes I have matching sets. Um, like two or three pieces, bracelet, necklace, earrings, or just necklace, earrings. Do you guys like sets to see videos on sets or not? This has a 14-inch drop. Um, well, at its shortest, it's... I know you can't see the whole thing, but just trust me. At its shortest, you have a 13-inch drop, and then you have two more inches in the extender. So 13 to 15-inch drop. Um, let me know if you guys like to see sets, videos that show sets of jewelry, two or three matching pieces or two or, or three coordinating uh, pieces that can be worn together. Piece number 15. What did I say? I think I said $8. Don't remember. Um, because I have a lot of stuff that matches or that is very close or very coordinated and I did do one video with sets and I don't think it got a whole lot of interest so I wasn't sure if I just 
my timing was off or if people just weren't interested. So drop me a comment below. Let me know how you guys feel about seeing videos with jewelry sets. All right. Next up. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a, I guess a bracelet. I'm not sure how to unclasp it. Give me a minute here. All right, you guys. So this says on the inside of it, it says, um, I'm looking for my pointer. Right down here, it says Mesh, Whiting, and Davis. And then there's another word underneath it. I'm going to look that up. Whiting and Davis, Jags or Bags or something. Mesh, I don't know, something. I gotta look at it a little closer. Oh my gosh, oh, Mesa, M-E-S-A, I think. Mesa, Whiting, and Davis. And then something else, another word under it. So I want to look this up because I'm not sure what this is worth, but it just like kind of presses and pulls. There's like a little, little um, piece there that snaps in. It's a mesh bracelet with this beautiful like, hematite looking huge stone I'm not saying that would be a hematite but it has that look okay so i'm going to look this up before i price this all right that is really cool i'm just gonna get a size on it that is freaking this is so cool um it's about six and three quarter inches and I will come back with a price on it on another video oh gosh I have so much to do so many things to do and look up oh, this is pretty look at this pen oh it used to be a pen it used to be a pen but it no longer has its pen but look at that this is beautiful. This would be really nice for a crafting project or even just to loop a chain in it. Um, let me see if I can do that. I'm going to see if I have a chain to put with it. And then we'll see. We'll come back with this too. Okay, because I want to make something of that. I don't want it to just go to waste. That's too nice. And we have another one of these bracelets that we came up with. Um, there was another one of them in, I think it was part one. And here it is, you guys. Here's the other one. It's interesting the way it has these two bars that link. And it looks nice once it's together, but it just seems a little odd at first. Very pretty to the same, you know, of the same style, but with a different stone. One has a clear stone and one has a blue. And I was gonna um, test this when I get the gem tester. Um, and I'll do the same with this one. I don't see any markings. They're very pretty. Um, but I just wanna see what, what the stones are and then I'll come back with these as well with a price um, I'm just checking to see if there's any mark just to be sure yeah, I don't see any makers mark but they're so pretty shiny sparkly they're not magnetic so I'll test them just to be sure um, so these will be in a, in a future video I'm gonna do one video of just like okay things that I said I was gonna test and um we'll just you know we'll show them and i'll i'll give prices this is another interesting piece bracelet light blue stones and this little floating stone there 
floating stones on either side. This reminds me a lot of the green one that we had in one of the videos. I want another one there. Very pretty. Pretty. I feel like this is not, a t this should be attached though. I can reattach it. That's easy. I can just reattach that ring right into there. This is pretty. This is pretty, 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 pretty. I'll reattach it and come back with a price. I want to reattach. I want to make sure I can attach it first before I make any promises and somebody wants it and then I fumble with it. But I, I really think I can get that attached, reattached easily just by opening up that ring and looping it um, on. Okay, let me move this back because I feel like I'm not in the frame tonight. All right, next up. So, yeah, I'm going to do a video of, like, the earrings. I'm going to examine all of them and know what the brands are. And we'll do, like, two for five. And I will do a combination of earrings and pieces that I was going to test and come back with. This is very pretty. Silver tone with these... Uh, like natural nudes colors, grays and nudes, a little hematite uh, color there, gold tone. Could be glass. It feels like glass. Very pretty. All right, let's put this on and see. Very long also. Not very long, but long. Let me Let me measure it right now. It has a 17 inch drop and a two inch extension. I'm not sure if it can be doubled or not, but for the sake of showing it. Very, very pretty. And it feels like glass stones, or at least some of them. Feels glass. I don't know though for sure. I'll just do eight dollars because I don't. I don't. Yeah, this is glass. Look at these beads. Look how pretty. I don't know what these are. These look like natural stones of some sort. I don't know. Probably giving away quartz or something here. <laughs> I don't know. Um, eight bucks. <laughs> um, let's give this. This is so pretty. Let's give this a number. All right. Um, eight bucks. Eight bucks. Eight bucks for piece number 15. Sorry, I'm out of frame so much tonight. I don't know what's going on. tone pretty pretties we have pretty pretties with a brand not sure what brand that is it's like a logo maybe there's a clue on something else on the back I don't know if you're familiar with this brand uh, it's not it's not Givenchy, is it? Givenchy, Givenchy. It reminds me of that logo, but I don't know. And it has a little um, stone. A little tiny, not tiny, but... I don't know. I better test this, too. Look how pretty. Oh, it's on like a... Kind of like a, not really a flat chain, kind of a cylindrical link. Interesting, closed link. To me, this reminds me of just something designer or quality, this clasp. Let me look into this one too before I price it. But that's what it looks like. Very pretty. 
simple. Uh, let me just test it too. Yeah, it's not magnetic, so this might be sterling. This could be something. I'll look more closely at the um, this tiny bale that it's on too. Maybe that has a clue. But I will test this with the gem tester and test it for sterling, and that will be in the um, in the video of all the things to be tested along with this beauty. I love that. Oh. It'd be hard to sell that, but all right. We have this interesting piece with these teardrop shape blue beads on like a bronze brown. Nice, nice, pretty, pretty. Lots of pretty going on here, guys. If you like blue or if you have blue eyes, this is for you. <laughs> That is pretty. Look at that. Ooh. Plastic beads, dark metal, um, two tier. Really pretty. I don't see a brand. But this will look beautiful on somebody with blue eyes. Let me do a measurement. We'll do eight bucks for this. About an eight inch drop. And then another two and a half on the extension, two and a half to three. So, yeah, maybe four even. So eight to 12 inch drop. That is nice. Very pretty. Mm. Ooh, has a nice, nice feel to it. All right, so this is going to be piece number 16. I think I said $8. And shipping is $5, flat rate of $5 shipping. Um, up to as many pieces as you want. This is nice. This has a nice heavy feel to it. Silver tone. With like a, hmm, I don't know how I would describe this color. It's like a, maybe a burnt orange with these silver textured circles, two tier. That's pretty, very nice, beautiful shape, beautiful condition, super clean. Very nice. And it's weighty, it's nice, nice quality. We're gonna do $10 on this piece. You get a measurement. Eight inch drop with two inch extension. Ten dollars. Beautiful. Really nice. This is piece number I think it's sixteen. Oh, we did a sixteen. This is piece number seventeen. I'll do that for ten. Beautiful. Look at that color. It's like shimmery. Beautiful. All right. That's piece number 17. All right, we are getting down to it, guys. We're gonna finish up this bag and then I'll do a video very shortly with, um, you know, getting back to you guys with prices on some of the things that I wanted to test. This is very pretty brass, brass tone with blue beads. Gorgeous, gorgeous bracelet. Look at that. No brand. 
All right, let's get our measurements on this. I'm gonna give you the shortest at first, not the shortest, the smallest. The smallest, she comes in at six, six and a quarter, maybe a little more than six and a quarter there. And then you have another two inches, I would say. So this can be any length up to, let's see, wow, that is pretty. That is pretty. This can be anywhere from six and a quarter on up to seven and three quarters. Wow. Now I wanna show this on. This is so pretty. Look at that. The brass, the blue. Kind of gold tone-ish, maybe. The beads look more gold tone, but this looks kind of brassy. I don't know. It's so pretty. $8. Given the pretty tax. We're putting a pretty tax on this bracelet. We're gonna go $8 on this. All right, let me bag it up. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Where is my pen? Number 18, you guys. What'd I say, $8? Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna get like 80 million emails. For this, I think this is gonna be very desirable. All right. Another bracelet, silver tone. Um, heavy, it feels like a nice weight. Red, pearlescent, um, rhinestone, enamel. Lots of different stuff going on here. Don't see a brand. It's weighty, it feels like a nice quality to me. Um, let me give measurements. At its smallest, at its smallest we have a six inch. And then it can go all the way up to about eight inch. This is very nice. It's. It's weighty, it feels really nice, like a nice quality. Let me show you all the beads. Again, it has like the stops. This must be like a thing lately. I'm getting a lot of bracelets with the stoppers. This one slides though. Oh, this slides a little bit. Oh, okay. You can put it wherever you want it. Okay, all right. You can either put them like that, or you can bring these out further and let it move. So that's nice. All right, so six to whatever, eight, eight and a half. This is really nice. We're gonna do $8 for this too. This is really nice. Nice quality feeling also. No brand. Yeah, like six to eight inch length. I mean, it's probably not sterling, but I'll check it just to make sure. But provide it's not sterling, $8 for number 19. I love this bead with the red enamel flowers. That's really nice. Does this say something? Uh, oh, this might say something. I think we might have a brand here, guys. Hang on. Oh, forever together. Forever together. Okay. All right. 
nice like every piece just about every piece was a hit i mean we had this missing its pendant we had this with a dingy chain but other than that like i think every piece tonight was beautiful we have this silver uh chain nice shape clean shiny I know why I'm out of frame a little bit because I'm, I had the I'm trying a different um I have the phone at a little bit different angle to not to try not to get a shadow because I, I noticed I was getting a shadow here a lot so I have it at a different angle and that's why I'm kind of missing the frame a little bit here all right here's the chain beautiful condition super duper clean It is marked there with something. Let me look. Three one six L. I have not a clue what that means, but it's picking up a little bit of magnetism. Eight bucks for the silver tone chain. This rounds us, out, and that's a 10 inch drop, non-adjustable. This rounds us out to 20 pieces, not counting the ones that I have to test um, and research like that um, interesting Whiting and Davis piece. Um, but that gives us 20 pieces up for grabs for today. And what did I say, $10? I think I said 10 bucks, I don't remember. Eight, ten, whatever I said is what it is. If I said it was eight, I can't remember if I said eight or ten. If I said eight, then it'll be eight. Just tell me the piece number 20. So all you have to do now is tell me the video. It's part three of the eight pound haul. And just tell me um, the number of the item, okay? Next up, we'll be doing these earrings next time. I'm going to go through those and um, be able to bring it to you kind of you know cut and dried what's brand what's not what's matching etc etc what's sterling or costume and we'll do that next time um or in the very near future and i'm gonna look into those pieces i promise 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 i will get back to you guys on that thanks so much for tuning in have a great night everybody i'll see you guys soon take care bye